time working on my soap. I'm going to put you in here, in this thing. You can't follow me around, but at least you'll be able to see what's going on here. If I put you in the right place. Now, where I want you to see over here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here we go. Now, I just brought in a whole bunch of icicles and used them for the water. It's important when you do your water that you um, have... I don't want that in there. It's important when you do your water that you use rain water, soft water. Okay, I'm going to measure my lye into this because it seemed like a good container to do it in. I used my soap calc recipe on the, on the computer. And so the amount of lye I need for five pounds is 305.71 grams. So I've got my little tally thing doing it in grams. Three oh seven. I gotta be a three oh eight again. Still three oh seven. How could that be? Still three oh seven. Cheapers. Three oh six. I think there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Probably about twenty balls in each one. Three oh six. So 3058 is about 306. Okay, so now I have my ice in here. I've never done this before. I have icicles. <laughs> and I'm gonna pour my um, I'm gonna pour my lye into my icicles. And I can't upload the icicles first because it's on that computer camera, which takes a long time to upload. Okay, so Very important that you um, dissolve it. But when you dissolve it, when you start to dissolve it, that's when you need to back up because it's the fumes will get start coming up. Now it should start getting really hot, which will of course melt my icicles very quickly. Don't splash it on yourself. This is an interesting concept of using ice. Because it won't have to take so long to cool down. Isn't 
that cool? I like doing this. No more icicles. Okay, I wonder how hot this is. Might not have a lot of cooling down to do. Hmm, interesting. Well, it's a hundred. I think I can I can use it. Now my oils have cooled. That's about a hundred too, I guess. Okay, I guess it's ready. We'll do our mixing after I answer the phone. Bye-bye.